Now that we have seen all the different components of the battery pack, let's have a look at overall integration and design consideration of it. So what does the battery pack basically needs? First is the most important factor is the electrical design. If not designed properly, this can make the battery unsafe for use. Let's say your high voltage can be hazardous as well as fatal. Then comes the thermal considerations. Batteries should be thermally stable or else there can be a risk of battery pack catching fire. Thermally stable battery also has longer life of all the components. Next is the battery life. Battery life is directly related to money. As the battery degrades, there is a need of replacement of whole battery which is a costly process. Then we have durability. It should be firm enough to sustain the vibrations, shocks and loads from the road. Followed by the performance should be very good and finally safety. So the things which are important in the battery pack development are first is the battery electricals, second is the thermal design, third is the mechanical design and lastly and most importantly is VMS that is battery management system. So the factors which should be considered when designing battery pack are first comes the electrical system. We need to consider the battery specifications and current. So now if the battery pack has high voltage, the high voltage wires must be separated and isolated properly. It should also be isolated from the signal lines as this high voltage causes interference in the signal lines. We must consider the short circuit scenarios like for example if there is short circuit there should not be a risk of any fire. Efficient power delivery should also be considered. Second comes the thermal design. An effective thermal design leads to increased battery pack efficiency. So thermal runaways should be considered and simulated as it is a very hazardous scenario and may be fatal. Battery pack will last longer. So thermal consideration is of great importance in any battery pack. Next comes the mechanical design. A battery should be mechanically strong as in the case of crash, a strong and firmly mounted battery pack will not catch fire or leak chemicals. The design should be cost effective and reliable. Each assembly and service should be factored in. Lightweight and compact battery pack should be designed because each kilo weight also reduces the overall range of the vehicle. And lastly and most importantly BMS design. So it is the most important component of the battery pack which is called as battery management system. The task of the BMS should be performed perfectly so as to increase the life of the cells and ultimately reducing the running cost of the vehicle. And it is often referred to as brain of the battery pack. Now what are the various stages in the battery pack design and development? So first comes the cell configuration. Before starting the battery pack design, we must consider the parallel and series configurations of the cells so as to finalize the dimensions of the battery pack casing. Configuring parallel cells first is the most used approach while designing a battery pack that we have seen in the battery pack sizing session. Next comes the battery pack structure. We should give a very good importance to the battery pack materials, thermal materials as well as electrical materials that we use. So the structural components should be selected, let's say the casing cover, end plate, base plate etc. Electrical components like the bus wire, bus bars, fuses, plugs and thermal component like thermal jackets, thermistors etc. More on battery thermal management system that is BTMS will be covered by Vinayak in the next session. Then comes the safety test. A battery pack should be mechanically tested for different test conditions let's say for shock, abuse, crash, vibration etc. In electrical testing we have short circuit testing, overcharging testing, over discharging and in thermal testing we have thermal management and thermal runaway. 
Now to be fortunate enough in India we have Vihar AI which does all this battery pack testings let's see mechanical electrical thermal before giving it a green flag to run on roads Next comes the applications so the last stage is the telemetry IoT based which is an information transfer to a server and finally the interface design of the vehicle to the motor from controller so we get all the data from the battery pack as well as from motor and controller which is sent through the telematics unit to the server or directly to the interface of the driver which gives outputs such as soc that is state of charge soh that is state of health and sop that is state of power so this is the various design stages in the battery pack development now we will just have a closer look at what are all the different components of the battery pack so first is the battery cells from where we start the battery pack development design stage so in this feature you can see are the prismatic cells then we have insulation pads which keeps all the cells as well as structures insulated from each other then we have the base plate which gives the mechanical form and structure to the battery pack then we have the side strips which tightly holds the side plates then we have the end plates followed by which we have the cold plates so the cold plates helps in btms that is battery thermal management then we have bus bar holders which give support to the bus bars then we have bus bars which connect cell to cell then we have thermistors followed by the wiring harness now there are lot amount of wires to be involved in a battery pack because each cell is connected to the vms through the wires so there should be a very good proper wiring harness then as vms requires voltage sensor current sensor so we have a voltage sensor as well as current sensor then the brain of the battery pack that is the battery management system followed by the overall casing of the battery pack so this was the overall detailing of the battery pack what are all the different components in the battery pack to end up with the battery pack station so we have seen from the start what what is the lithium ion chemistry what are the different types of cells then we have seen what is soc soh sop the different vit parameters that is used by the vms to calculate different outputs then we have seen how the battery pack is sized according to the application and in this session we have seen how the overall battery pack is developed so yeah that's it about the battery pack session in the upcoming session we will see how this battery pack is charged how fastly it can charge followed by battery thermal management system by vinay so thank you guys